Tipping your landlord greatly reduces your chance of getting evicted from your apartment. I won't stop till I hear him say. Here are five reasons you should tip your landlord. 1. Tipping your landlord greatly reduces your chance of getting evicted from your apartment. Getting evicted sucks. Getting evicted feels a lot like walking in on two of the homies balls deep in your girlfriend's fart box. 2. When you tip your landlord, it allows you the opportunity to show him how much you appreciate his greatness. 3. Tipping your landlord ensures you didn't waste that money on something stupid like your hair, nails, or a pair of Jordans. 4. If you tip your landlord enough, he will have enough money to buy another house and become someone else's landlord at which point they will have the opportunity to tip him and show him how much they appreciate his greatness. 5. If you don't tip your landlord, he will evict you and most likely start dating your girlfriend. I think it's only three. There's no way there's a back porch if it has a front porch. Hello, Joseph, it's the bailiff. Hello, Tara. Mr. Rock. Coming in. Like, Go ahead and look. Now, it looks like he's more than 75%. Oh, yeah, I got angle. Is that a toilet run? <laughs> 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 you don't want to be filming that. I'll be watching, watching like y'all evictions and stuff. So you don't want to be filming. They make me, yeah. Yeah, because I know I saw what some house. It was kind of weird the way the house was made up. Yeah, I'm like, thank you. Keys, please. I was just coming to look for you to give you some keys. Do you want all of them? Yeah. Okay. They all work. I checked them all. Twenty bucks, free tire. Well, I guess for twenty bucks it's not free. Comes with an alleyway, a parking spot. That's a beautiful garage. She's a beaut. Looks pretty close. What about like right here? So, this, so it stays forever? Forever and ever. Beautiful. People didn't leave much though. Around the time. This is cool. It's like a particle board cabinet. Pretty dope. Alright. Put you guys down. And I gotta go shut everything off. Buddy. <laughs>
Yeah, he was at daycare. Um, I don't usually send my kids to daycare. Mm -hmm. um, Thursday, he went to daycare. I didn't send him Friday, didn't send him Monday. Tuesday, I went, you know, I'm a nurse. So they, um, the lady's like, can you check this little baby out? You know, I think she, the mom said she has an yeast infection. I was like, well, the mom best feeds, whatever. That's comical, that's normal. But then I seen little bumps on her. I said, no, she has hand, foot, and mouth. Mm -hmm. So not even that next day, I go to take him to daycare because he didn't have nothing, you know, and mom's, I'm like, get documentation, make sure that's what it is. And I looked at him this mor in the morning, I'm like, get the fuck out of here. So I took him to the doctor, and I'm like, he's got a hand, put him out. Here's your documentation, I'll get the daycare clean and get them the fuck out. You know, point blank, period. This is kind of yesterday. We kind of were told from the unit. We're going to kind of go in here, document what's up, and uh, do it live for you guys. Well, it smells pretty good, to tell you that much. Um, so what you're seeing here is uh, what we would call broom clean here at Home. I don't want to run it out of the room. Mm. Is this where I get mauled by a cat on camera? <coughs> and nothing looks skinny as fuck. Relax. Hey. This happens a lot. People leave animals in their units. Um, and I told him I was doing it on the weekend because that's when I'm off. Okay, well just please keep in mind that we do need those pictures as soon as possible. Maybe could you take them after work? Sure, let me just bow down to everybody else. And when I have kids, I gotta take care of, and doctors, and everything else. Whatever, retard. So watch your step. Anytime I go into these properties, I always whistle or whatever, just to make sure there's no dogs or anybody in the house that might jump out to get you. But yeah, here's our water situation right now. We've got stolen pipes and they love to do it and not shut the water off of the meter. They just go and rip it out because they're taking off. Looks like she definitely came through and cleaned the unit up after she moved out. I mean, obviously, as you can obviously see what's going on here. It's a nightmare. She threw everything everywhere. And there's just a horrendous smell coming from somewhere. So we have to figure out what that is. I don't know if it's like a fridge or what. And uh, running away with the copper. So I uh, flooded the whole basement. So typically when this stuff happens, I mean, this is an older foundation house. There's going to be a lot of dirt on the ground. Um, there might need to be a lot more extensive cleaning by Holton Wise as well as far as um the dirt you know getting getting taken out shoveling probably a crew of guys in a dump truck um you know it's going to need a new furnace going to need a new hot water heater Because you gotta take a picture of it. Oh, we could just peek in real quick and 
-hmm. Trying to see why my walls and shit cracking and why I'm paying all this money that bathroom wall about to fall apart. Big ass crack. Look, go in the bathroom. Look, big ass crack. Fall about to fall apart. Look. Right, right. Trying to get my shit together. I'm paying my money every month. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.